We're starting to see a lot of collaborations between different golfing brands and I'm certain that what's in this box is going to divide opinions. But is this the future of golf shoes? Hi, I'm Paul and this is The Golf Show. Have I mentioned I like golf shoes? Well, if this box is anything to go by, I'm expecting it to be something pretty special inside there. This is the new collaboration between Echo and Jay Lindeberg. That box looks like a shopping bag from Harvey Nichols, doesn't it? Okay, so what's inside has cost £169, which is right at the top end of golf shoes, really, isn't it? Some premium packaging. Are you ready for this? I'm not even sure if golf's ready for this. Look at that. A high top, I guess basketball, Converse style, you could say, shoe for golf. Wow. Materials look absolute premium. Even though this looks like fabric and this toe cap here, it's actually leather from Echo's tanneries. So it looks like a canvas shoe, but it's actually premium grade leather from the tannery, fully waterproof as well. The way that Echo do all these welts and soles as well, you're not worried about glue or stitching, so I'm told. It's got a, a memory foam insole there as well, which it does say you can remove if you want it to be a bit wider fitting as well. I'm a sort of nine and a half. I've gone for a size 44 in the continental sizing. Nice sole there. I'm mean, gonna get plenty of grip off there. But would you wear these on the golf course? We've done a poll on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter, all the social feeds for the golf show. Had some really interesting results from even some younger people or some of the older generation that might be a bit more predictable. So I'm gonna talk about those a bit later on. But what do you think about these? The lace just seems to pull through this, this little eyelet here. I guess you maybe tuck that in. One comment we got on the uh, Instagram was, if you wore these, you'd be a gangster golfer, which I kind of liked. I actually quite like the look of those, I'm not gonna lie. I've got a few pair of Converse trainers. Would I wear these on the golf course? Well, I'm gonna have to, because I'm gonna test them out for you guys. I'm gonna get some interesting comments, I'm sure, down at Fulford. So I'm gonna put these on now and head down to the golf course. Can anyone else hear Saturday Night Fever in their heads? Or is it just me? Well, there's no denying the quality of the manufacturer. They're really well made. I've just put them on and they instantly feel really comfortable. There's gonna be no need to break these in. I think they are gonna be controversial. High tops for golf. If you've ever had Converse trainers or Converse ankle boots before, when you first get them, the white toe cap is so white. These look really new. Um, I'm gonna wear them around the course today. I'm gonna to talk to some buddies here at Fulford and see what they think. At the moment, really comfortable. I'm gonna go and try and hit a few shots in them now because I've never played golf with a sort of ankle boot on before. So I wanna see if that gives me more support or if it sort of rubs the ankle, gives me any blisters. So let's go hit some balls. We did some polls on the Golf Show's Instagram, Facebook and Twitter accounts and had over 70 responses. 81% of those said they didn't like these on the golf course. Even my son, Zach, who's 13, said they're great, but not for golf, Dad. So what did I think of the shoes? They were comfortable, they're a little bit heavy, it's quite warm here today. I don't know if they're for me, maybe with a pair of jeans. I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep these or not. They're really cool, they look great, they're beautifully made, really good quality. Didn't feel any detriment to having a, a support around the ankle or not. Feel a bit heavy, I think my feet are gonna ache tonight. So I'm not sure if these are for me. Hope you enjoyed that, guys. They're a bit different. It's great to try some new stuff out on the Golf Show. If you enjoyed it, give us a like. If you're new, give us a subscribe, and we'll see you next time on the Golf Show.
I hope you enjoyed the episode of The Golf Show. To watch another, click here. To subscribe, click here.